Hi, I am Pastor Janet Hogan Lamar, the host of The Real Women Talk Show, and I am so excited to be sitting here with these awesome, anointed women of God. They are the panelists for The Real Women Talk Show. And what we're going to do, we know that we have women all across the world that are watching, and you're trying to figure out what is this new talk show going to be about. So what we're going to do today, we're going to give you just a mini preview to enlighten you, to allow you to hear what these women are going to bring to this show. So Prophet Ramona, we want you to share with us some of the golden nuggets that you're going to be contributing. Amen. Real talk. Real life situations, rape, domestic violence, you just about name it. This is what we're going to talk about on this show. You don't want to miss this. Real talk for real life situations. Awesome, awesome. And Dr. Jessica Houston, oh my God, the things they got to do and tell us what nuggets would you like to bring to this show? Yes, I want everyone to know that life will knock you down. Sometimes it gets hard. Sometimes we're stressed. We have anxiety. Things just don't seem to be going the way that we had planned for them to go. And our goal, our job is to just say, look, keep going. You can do this. Yes. Awesome. And it's just like we're yes. sitting right here. You're yes. telling me to, to keep going, yes. keep moving forward. Yes. And so now I'm down to the wonderful, awesome evangelist, Shelly Pounds. You know, what would you say to those women that are watching? What, what nuggets are you going to bring to the show? You know, um, Janet Lamar, uh, there are so many things that we go through in life that cause us to forget the promise of God. And I just want every woman to know that your promise is bigger than your problem. Wow. Hallelujah. And if you can just hold on to what God gave you yes. and down in your heart and have a dream and reach for that thing daily, yes. and no matter what you're going through, you're going to see the promise come to pass My goodness. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I just thank God for that. That's the reason why I'm sitting here. Amen. And I thank Amen. You for that. Amen. I believe that's why we all sit in here. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Because the promises that he's fulfilling yes. in our yes. life, mm -hmm. he had to allow us to be his hope oh, yes. in order Amen. for us to give others hope. Yes. Yes. My God, oh, I know. Yes. Don't let me start yes. right no, now. Right. Amen. Yeah, Come on, that. Pastor. Please talk to us and tell us what nuggets are, are you going to bring to the show? Now, I am hearing for women that it's time for them to rise and shine. Wow. And to let the glory of the Lord and the Amen. spirit of the Lord lead them yes. in this time, in this season that to shake off those things that may be holding them back or holding them down yes. from walking in the fullness that God has for them right now. Amen. And I hear that he's going to turn their morning into dancing. My God. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. And we know that we have women that are watching and mm -hmm. we want to make sure that the foundation of the Real Women Talk Show is based on the foundation of our Savior, which is the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. But we're going to reach not just those that are saved, those that are not saved. It's, it's a multicultural type of show where we're going to deal with every topic that you can think about. Anything that's going on in your life, we're going to deal with whether you're single, if you're married, if you're an entrepreneur, right. if you're a homemaker, I mean, whatever, maybe in government, you may be a clergy person, whatever it is, this show it's going to do some things for you. Matter of fact, it's, I hear the word transform. Yes. That's what I'm hearing. Yes. And what I want to do, because I'm, I'm like this. I mean, I'm looking at if I'm actually on the other side of this TV station and I'm watching and I just mm -hmm. took my remote control and I just turned the channel number nine and it says I'm um, the real women talk show. And in my mind, I'm trying to figure out the real women talk show. I haven't heard of this before, nor have I seen these women that are all dressed up looking so royal. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, now they look good in what they're looking like and they're glowing and the presence of God is sitting on them. And I'm sitting there, but I'm crushed and I'm broken mm -hmm. because I'm dealing with the situation I've been dealing with for the last five years. Mm -hmm. I'm dealing with unforgiveness that's mm -hmm. turned into bitterness. Mm -hmm. It's rooted down in my belly, in my soul. And I'm sitting there while you all are smiling, you're looking like, you know, God has just blessed you with the multi-million dollars, but I'm sitting there and I'm depressed because I got unforgiveness and I can't move to my next level. My God. So I need for y'all to talk to me because yes. I'm sitting here and I don't know what to yes. do and I got tears that's dripping and, and yes. I'm wondering, are this is this real women talk show going to be like the rest yes. or is it going to do anything for me? So Ooh, prophetess Ramona, glory. while you, you're there and the woman, of person that's looking at the other side, what would you tell them? I would be real with you, sweetheart, to let you know I've been there, done that, I've been broken, I've been abused and I had to realize that either I was going to let my past ruin me with that bitterness and cause sickness and hurt and or I was going to allow it to ruin my future. So I had wow. to realize, let it go. Yes. And I'll tell you today, let it go and walk into your future yes. and don't allow your past 
to make you bitter, but allow your future to make you better. My yes. God, oh, my yes. God. And oh, yes. Dr. Jessica, you are you are a, a woman of, of diversity of gifts that God have given you, but what would you tell that person that's watching as well? Yes, I would say that unforgiveness is a weight that has to be released. Amen. If you allow Amen. unforgiveness to keep you stuck, it's gonna prevent yes. you from yes. the growth that, that yes. you deserve, the happiness that you deserve. Yes. And it really does more harm than good. You're not even hurting the other person, you're hurting yourself. Wow. About it. So when you finally release yes. it, then you can it. actually step Talk into the destiny it. that God has. So wow, right. awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. That's I'm so telling right. you, I know time is winding down, but I just, I need to hear from these other two panel members. I need to hear from you, Evangelist Pounds. Tell me or tell that person that's watching, that's dealing with that bitterness and unforgiveness, what would you say to them? You know, I don't think it's surprising that we're dealing with that issue and we're, we're, we're living in the, in the heart of middle Georgia. And I just want to say to everyone who are going through any hurt or pain or, or whatever issue that you can't see the other side and knowing that God has a promise for you on yes. the other side, I just want to let you know that God has already predestined your life yes. in the name of Jesus. If you can just let go of whatever you're going through right. and reach for yes. that higher yes. calling, which yes. is in Christ Jesus, and allow that burden that's on your heart, just lay it up on him. I bet in there. Don't let the clothes fool you. Yes. My when we goodness. get here, we all dressed up, but yes. don't let that fool you. We've right. been through something. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And we're here for purpose. Yes. And I'm here for every woman to see that yes. I am, I represent everything you've ever gone through. Yes. My, and I want goodness. you to know that when I speak, I speak to everything that's in you. Yes. And I pray that the spirit in me will bring out the God in you. My Have God. mercy. My Hallelujah. God. And Pastor Peggy mm -hmm. Pullum, mm. come on and tell us the final remarks on the I, person that's dealing with that unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. I hear and see that there's someone that says, I, I know in my head I need to forgive, mm. yes. but I don't have it in my heart. And it's easy to say, let go and, and do this. But it also takes a step of faith yes. for that person to say, That's I'm real. really tired real. of being like mm. this. Yes. I yes. take on. that baby step of faith mm. and to say, hey, That's God, exactly what do what you want to do. Work in my heart. Wow. Uh, you know, you forgave me. Help me to forgive. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> And I know that you're sitting here and you're watching. You like, you know, keep talking. Don't, don't, don't stop right now. But we must pause for a moment. And what we're going to do, we're going to bring you back and allow you to be introduced to some more real women. So we're telling you, don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. Hi, I am Pastor Janet Hogan Lamar, the host of the Real Women Talk Show. And I am back again with some additional members of the Real Women Talk Show. And we are so excited to have you ladies joining with us today. How are you doing? We're doing great. Well, know, awesome, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yes. And you know that we have millions of women of all backgrounds watching. And what mm -hmm. we want to do, we want to share some golden nuggets, some expectations. If they're turning on that dial and they're looking and trying to figure out what is the Real Women Talk Show. So Prophetess Queen Hayes, share with us some of the golden nuggets they can expect when they're watching this show. We want them to know that quitting is not an option and they can motivate themselves to an international level to develop their goals, their dreams and ideas because why? It's theirs. My goodness. So can I take some of those nuggets with yes, me? Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> My goodness. Dr. Jessica, tell us. Yeah, so I want these women to know that any pain they've gone through, any disappointments they've had, they need to use that as a springboard into their future. Yes. Don't allow that to keep them playing small. Don't yes. allow that to keep them doubting themselves. My they have goodness. everything yes. they need within them yes. to do what God has set out for them to do. That's yes. powerful right yes. there. That makes me want to watch this show every day and every night. Yes. Yes. My goodness, come on, co-pastor Janice oh, Clark. Yes, I want them to know that the word is awesome. And whatever they are going through in life, get into that word. The God has a solution for every problem that they are going through. Yes, so that yes, word yes. is just awesome. Mm -hmm. it's, it has everything that we need. So just get into that word. Yes, My goodness, yes. I'm telling you, I'm just excited already. Yes. And Pastor <laughs> Pullum, tell us what will they expect from you? They will expect a lot of encouragement 
in knowing and reassurance of the faith in the Lord Jesus Christ that He is always there. He will never leave them nor forsake them. Even when they feel when they are on their bottom and life Mm -hmm. has knocked them off their feet, that God is still there with them. Always. I'm telling you, that encourages me. And I'm sitting here Mm -hmm. on the uh, the host side. Right. And so I know that there are so many men, women watching all across the land. And, mm-hmm. and, you know, and this one particular person, I'm just looking into my imagination that is sitting there with the remote control and they, they turn the remote control and they're sitting there and they're watching the Real Women Talk Show. And, and in their mind, they're looking at how awesome and how beautiful that we're looking sitting here so royal. And they're wondering, how did they make it to the Real Women mm-hmm. Talk Show? Yes. And they may be sitting there and they're wondering, you know, they could be saying that I too have dreams and visions and things that I want to do. And I've had these ideas for such a long time. I don't know where to begin. I don't have the resources. I don't even know who to talk to. So if they're sitting there and they can and they had a chance to ask us this question, what would we tell them? Prophetess Queen Haynes, tell us, what would you say to that person now? I would tell them to continue to dream, continue to reach, and continue to believe. Because the more you dream, only you can make that dream come true. And then when you reach, you got to understand success will take time. Right. Devotion and commitment. But then when you believe, reaching gets easier. My God. Setbacks, because you're going to have some setbacks. Yes. Yes. They become more manageable. Life becomes more meaningful, right? And a dream will come true. Awesome, but it's yours, so make it come true. Awesome, awesome, yes. awesome. Yes, woman of God, tell yes. us. They, they got to take action. Okay, yes. you can't just keep sitting down, contemplating, yes. analyzing, yes. seeking perfection. You just got to wow. move. Yes, you got to move with the gifts that are in you. You cannot yes. leave this world with all of the gifts that are in you. You just got to move. Wow, yes. and I'm reminded. I know he's the late Dr. Miles Monroe, and he yes. said this. He mm-hmm. said, "Whatever you do." Leave here empty. Yes. That yes, means everything yes, that's in you has to come out. Come on, co-pastor, talk to us. You know, we have to write it down first and make it plain. Yes. Yeah. Write it down. And like she said, we have to take action. Right. Don't give up. Don't give up because it's coming. It's right around the corner. Around the corner. God is getting you ready. He's preparing you yes. for that new destiny. So mm-hmm. don't give that's up it. on that's God. It. No. But just write it down yes. and get ready for that change because it's coming. Yes, it's Lord. It's on the way. My Woo! God. Yes. Amen. Come on, yes, Pastor Peggy. Woo! Tell us. What would you tell that person that's watching? I Thank keep you. hearing about Moses. Okay. And Moses was a process, you know, and there was yes. a process. He went through yes, the process. Yes. And that wherever that woman is, that there's a process. Yes. And keep oh holding on to that yes. hope. Right. Like they've said, don't mm-hmm. give up that hope. Yes. And oh hope gosh. is how our problems end. My yes. God. And it's just keep pressing through. Don't give up. My give goodness. Up. I'm give telling up. you, we are just giving you just a little mini preview mm. of what to expect when you turn your dials and you're watching the Real Women Talk Show. We want you to be excited. We want you to have anticipation, enthusiasm, and we want you to know that we have come to your rescue. And so as we talked about the person that's watching, you have these ideas, this creativity, and you don't know what to do. Mm. The first and key thing is this. You gotta pick up your pen, you gotta get your pad, and you gotta write it down. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't write it down, you don't know where you're going. And each time that we close this show, we will all you always leave you with, with three important keys. I got my keys right here. These keys will unlock your personal purpose and your mm-hmm. destiny. Mm-hmm. So what are these three keys? Keep the faith, stay focused, and I promise you, you will finish. God yes. bless. Woo! Yes. Yes. Yes.